This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at a comparison of the two kinds of electrochemical cells. In the previous videos, we looked at two kinds of electrochemical cells. On the left, we have a voltaic or galvanic cell. On the right, we have an electrolytic cell. Next, we'll have a look at the similarities and the differences between the two. So we'll start by looking at whether the chemical reaction is spontaneous or non-spontaneous. In a voltaic cell, a spontaneous reaction produces an electric current. In an electrolytic cell, an electric current from a battery drives a non-spontaneous reaction. Next we look at how the current is conducted. In a voltaic cell, the current is conducted by electron flow in the wires and the movement of ions in the salt bridge. In an electrolytic cell, the current is conducted by electron flow in the wires and the movement of ions in the electrolyte. Next we look at the anode and the cathode. In a voltaic cell, the anode is negative and the cathode is positive. In an electrolytic cell, the anode is positive and the cathode is negative. Next we look at the type of energy change. In a voltaic cell, chemical energy is converted to electrical energy. In an electrolytic cell, electrical energy is converted to chemical energy. And the final difference, in a voltaic cell the reaction is exothermic, in an electrolytic cell the reaction is endothermic. And finally, we look at the similarities between a voltaic cell and an electrolytic cell. Oxidation occurs at the anode and reduction occurs at the cathode. This is the same for both a voltaic cell and an electrolytic cell. An easy way to remember this is the phrase an ox and red cat. Oxidation occurs at the anode and reduction occurs at the cathode. This is the same for both voltaic cells and electrolytic cells. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.